Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here we have a live image of Yellowstone, um, Old Faithful, Norris Junction uh, area. Yeah, the camera's acting up. Um, on the 9th of this month was the last time that Steamboat Geyser had a major eruption. What's going on with Steamboat? It's having a large mine eruptions which is unusual according to the chatter uh, for a steamboat. It's been uh, 13 days uh, between the last eruption. Um, let me show you that right there the ninth and it was 13 days 22 hours and 11 minutes. Yeah they're having a lot of um, what they call minor eruptions which they don't count as a major eruption and they're saying that according to historical data this has happened before in the past, just before a major earthquake in the area of a magnitude 7. So I guess we'll have to watch and see. But some changes are going on at Steamboat with the eruptions. And yeah, it's got them scratching their head. And um, maybe some of the scientists, those that uh, follow what's going on, are concerned. I don't know. A geyser definitely does not influence earthquakes, but it is an indication of what's going on there at the park. Yeah, do they have a large earthquake coming? Uh, time will tell. Yesterday there was a magnitude 3.4 earthquake uh, 15 kilometers west northwest of Soda Springs, Idaho. If I come down here, you can see the series of earthquakes that have been going on. This one here um that was also yesterday at 2.1 um a 2.1 that was the 17th a 2.4 a 1.9 that was the 16th and a 1.8 that was on the 21st this here is the monitor of norris junction it's a borehole 950 this is that earthquake as it came in there at Soda Springs. And there it is, the uh, the wave of that earthquake. There's also been some other earthquakes. We got one right here at 1052. Now this is today, and this is universal time, which is not being reported. The last one they reported was a 1.3 up there by Lincoln, Montana. Um, a 1.8 um, Phyllis Philsburg Montana up there there's Helena um, Phillipsburg also a 1.5 that was today same location Lincoln Montana today a 0 0.1 up there above Helena Lima Montana a minus 0 0.1 that was today. Then yesterday, a 1.2 Lincoln, Montana. Um, we got a 0 0.1 up there by Heben Lake. Um, that was uh, yesterday. Um, Montepeller, Idaho. That's down here. A 1.8. Let me pull this back up. Um, that was yesterday. Soda Springs already showed you all that. 1.2. Frenchtown, Montana. A minus 0 0.1. Yellowstone. Um, up there by the Snake River Plateau. Um, a 1.0. Uh, Three Forks, Montana. A 0 0.6. Yeah, there was quite a few of them yesterday. I'm not going to... Well, there's um, a 2.6 Soda Springs. 3.4 that was Soda Springs and the 1.5. So this earthquake they're not reporting. That was today. There it is a sharp popping and kind of dragged out a little bit. And this is what it's showing when I pulled the files. Uh, 914. Again this is a borehole. So it doesn't pick up any noise from um, the surface whatsoever. Um, we got this other one at 920. There's its signature, that signature, and that's the most recent. And of course, they're not they're not reporting. We got a little one right here at eight o'clock. 
Here we have the monitor for Little West Thumb at Yellowstone Lake, and I keep talking about how we're having continuous activity. Showing at Yellowstone Lake, uh, showing that, in fact, the volcano is recharging. See all the lighter lines coming up? That's the hot gases from the magnet. And down here we have the heat, and this is from that earthquake yesterday. The 3.4 um, at Soda Springs in um, Idaho. Remember, Yellowstone Lake has that crack at the bottom running up where they have the spreading of um, you know, the fault line, just like they have out there in the ocean, where there's major fault lines that are spreading, creating uh, new earth where it's being recycled. Now, again, this is Little West Thumb, and you can see lots of activity that was going on. We got an earthquake there, an earthquake there. Let's look at the signature, and we'll look at this signature as it came in. See that? That's at 3.4. And we'll come down. We've got another one here marked in red. And remember, when they're marked in red, that means uh, the computer picked up the earthquake, and they need to come in and review um, the data. And we got two quakes there, but only one is in red. 1649. That would have been yesterday, universal time, not being reported. We also got one right here uh, at 1702, not being reported. We got 1831. Um, that was the last one they reported for yesterday. Here we have 1830. Let me pull it over a little bit. So we want 1831 right in there somewhere um 1831 in five seconds let's look at that all right so anyways um 2102 now this is um yesterday universal time uh 2145 let's pull this down this one here which is today 1113 and we'll look at the signature yeah yeah a lot of stuff going on there at little west thumb we got another one here 718 yeah they reported one at 832 but they didn't report this one right here at 718 we got this one at 1135 which is today yeah and there's a lot of little stuff going on look at that and this is what it was showing when I pulled the files this morning here we have the monitor for Madison River which is in an area up there by Norris Junction which I and many people expect this is the area that will probably erupt first when it does a counterclockwise um, unzipping event for the, you know when the next major eruption happens. You can see we got a lot of activity. We got an earthquake there. Look at that. And this area too definitely shows harmonic tremors or volcanic tremors, magma on the move. Yeah, and there's data um, that's missing right right through here see that and then we got all this look at that oops went off the line all right so let's look at that uh 3.4 earthquake that occurred yesterday yeah look at that look how hot it is doesn't show as much the gases coming up just the heat you know we do have some small areas of gases but yeah, look how long it shook up the caldera. Um, from 2113. Um, and we got this deep pocketed wave here. Uh, 2115 for about over two minutes um, that it shook up. I want to see that deep pocketed right there. I want to look at the signature there. Yeah. And then we had stuff afterwards. 
look at that look at the heat you want to see the signature okay yeah magma on the move harmonic tremors and then we'll come down and this one again um, right there 1052 not being reported look at that yeah look at that yeah we got that one there very significant let me pull this up for you yeah and the blobs they call this blobs of magma that came into the system I mean look at that yeah their actual scientific term blobs of magma another earthquake there another one there yeah look at the heat oops anyways down here yeah we got let me look at the wave there see if I can show you yeah the screw wave look at that look at the activity there yeah more heat coming up and then that's what it was showing when I pulled the data lots of vibration huh lots of shaking going on so is there an indication that they have a large earthquake coming a seven point whatever and let's take a look at the tilt now this is the Madison River area I think that's appropriate for the last seven days remember I've told you lots of dots means lots of shaking going on lots of vibrations yeah a lot during the 18th and the tilt meter now remember they're measuring which direction the magma is flowing under the ground when they have this X and Y um, X is north Y is east the last seven days even though the uplift is going towards the north okay and then the last 30 days yep uplift under the ground the magma is moving towards the east next we have the Yellowstone Lake area this is a borehole these are all boreholes very deep wells yeah lots of shaking going on on the 18th yeah uplift yeah they won't tell you that there's uplift going on and look at the trend under the ground uplift going towards the east while the ground the upper crust is bulging towards the north and then the last 30 days yeah yeah look at the tilt yeah it looks like we got uh, spurges of um, you know uplift and then this is going back to when they first started monitoring it which was in 2008 yeah we definitely have uplift they won't tell you that and large eruptions or excuse me yes and large earthquakes can cause volcanoes to erupt they have done that down in South America that was the most recent um, information that I found about large earthquakes this is Grant this is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake last seven days and look at each dot would be an earthquake which causes uplift again X would be north Y is east what's going on under the ground and then the last 30 days yeah going towards the east and then yeah they reset the machine um, grant they started monitoring back in 2009 yeah back in 2018 remember I was talking about how it was going off the paper and they had to uh, readjust it well they did yeah <laughs> in their favor right so what they do with panther now this is a borehole that's up there by uh, mammoth vault what did they do here we got the 18th where all the stuff was going on top would be north bottom is east look at the jump it took rising up yeah that's a bit concerning yeah last seven days what did they do with the disc well it was originally here then suddenly they had the uplift yeah look at that and then the last uh, 30 days again this is a borehole 
Okay, so y is east, x is north. Yeah, look at the changes that happened there at Panther, which is, again, near Mammoth Vault. Yeah, that is a big jump. Um, how many millimeters? How many inches? I don't know. Here we have a static cam view of Mammoth Hot Springs there. This was today at 9 a.m. their time, mountain time. Yeah, there's a car there, but um, anything from this direction into the park, you can't get in by car. It has to be a snowmobile. Looks like the camera's looking at Old Faithful. So that's all I have for you right now. Yeah, let's see if we have a large earthquake coming within a month or so. Maybe even shorter because of the activity that's going on at um, Steamboat. Yeah, that would be interesting to see if um, historical data does show that these uh, minor eruptions, which are coming several times during the day, which hasn't happened before without a major eruption. Yeah, if it's an indication of something um, quite serious to come. So, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe. Always have a plan. Always be prepared for any type of disaster. Being flood or storms or um, power outages, uh, civil unrest. You just don't know. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.